Mark Kaufman for Whiskey Whistle. Kirkland Signature 12 Year Blended Scotch Whiskey, $35 US, 65,000 won here in Seoul, South Korea. How does that compare with Johnny Walker? About $20 more for a similar size in USA and also with the basic Kirkland Signature Scotch. Stay tuned for the Costco Kirkland Signature 12 Year Old Blended Scotch Whiskey Whiskey Whistle. Hey everybody, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews. Bringing you another very cool whiskey review, this one of the readily available Kirkland Signature 12 year old blended scotch whiskey. Let's get that open and get it poured. I'm going to be comparing this Kirkland 12 year to two other whiskeys, the market leader Johnny Walker Black Label 12 year and also the Kirkland Signature Standard 80 proof. Anyway, let's get that poured. I'm going to pour it into the middle glass here. That's got a little pink uh, strip on it there. Oh, this is really hard to hold. This is very heavy. Whoo! Now, oh my, that was a really heavy pour. That's well over 30 milliliters, about an ounce and a half, I'd say. Um, it's really, really easy to pour a lot from these. Okay, all right, now let's pour out the other two. Johnny Walker 12 year. I'll pour that into my nifty Johnny Walker Keep Walking nosing glass. Just a little bit. And you can already spot a big difference in color there. Should we get them level? Let's just get them level just for the purposes of comparison. Still not quite level, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we're going to open this one. Alright, so now this is the 80 proof standard Kirkland blended scotch whiskey. This is $20 in USA and in fact it's also about the same, it's actually 18,000 won here in Seoul, South Korea. Alright, let's get that opened. Oof. When you take off that, uh, that strip, make sure you get that flat so you don't cut yourself on that, uh, as I, oh wow, I actually I actually cut myself on that. All right, so after you open that, just take it all, all off or get it flush to the bottle so there's no jagged edges there. All right, mishaps. Okay, let's get it open. There we are. This one is much easier to hold. It's got a nice kind of a handle on the side there. So even though it's heavy, it's not so cumbersome. There we go. I think I spilt some there. Oh well. Okay, so a tale of three whiskeys here. All right, now we're going to focus on the Kirkland 12 year first of all. So let's start by checking out the color. And I'll just put this white background here. Hopefully you can get a good sense of uh, what that looks like. And maybe we can compare all three of them. Okay, does that help? I'll move it to the front. Okay, now the standard, uh, the standard Kirkland is definitely the lightest. And uh, between the two here, so Kirkland 12, Johnny Walker 12, uh, well, what do you think? Let me have a look myself from this side. Well, I'm going to have to say that the Johnny Walker 12 year is actually slightly darker in color. Now, we should keep in mind that all of these have added color. E150, that's caramel color, spirit color, not the kind of caramel you eat. This is just the color. It's, it's natural and it comes from sugar. All right, so there's our three whiskeys. So that's the color. Now, has this got any legs? Let's have a quick look at the legs for uh, the Kirkland 12 year. Fairly quick legs, not that much to speak of. We can expect this to be a little bit thin in terms of mouthfeel. This one also is 80 proof or 40% ABV. So the lowest possible that it has to be to be called whiskey uh, and also for Scotch whiskey. And uh, being a blended Scotch whiskey, if you're not aware, this is a blend of single malts and also grain Scotch whiskies. Uh, grain meaning that it's been distilled in a column still. That's a very special still that produces 
um, uh, very light, uh, light flavored whiskey. And uh, pot stills, uh, th that's where the single malts are made, and these have a much heavier flavor. And uh, these are blended together to create an ideal balance. And uh, from my testing of this bottle so far, my thoughts are that they have done an, an interesting job of blending and it has a, a similar amount of um, smokiness and sweetness as in fact Johnny Walker 12 year and this is why I'm comparing the two of them. Anyway, let's stay on the task and focus on this one now. All right, well, let's check out the nose together. Sweet and a little bit smoky. Fruity, some nice red fruits. So think raisins, think a little bit of wood smoke, and a hint of peat there as well. Peat, of course, this is the precursor to coal, and that's what's used in, uh, in Scotland to dry the malted barley um, after it sprouts to stop the sprouting. Yeah, that's basically what I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon, Quite a bit of vanilla also, but especially some red fruits and also also the smoke. Okay, well let's taste it together then. Cheers. Now, the taste, the palate, pretty much follows through with that nose. I have some um, raisin, dried fruit raisin type of flavors. Again, a little bit of uh, something like a strawberry jam. That's that red fruit uh, remnant that I'm getting in the palate. And, uh, and also quite smoky, especially the longer you hold on to that in your mouth. Let's give it another taste. Cheers again. Now I'm quite surprised, even though it's 40% ABV, it actually envelops the mouth quite nicely. It coats the tongue very well. Now the finish, the finish is medium length, and I'm especially left with a little bit of cinnamon, some pepper, that little bit of smoke and peat also. I'm also getting a little bit of something like graham cracker crumbs on the palate, and if memory serves correct, I was getting that in the uh, uh, the original, the basic bottle as well, when I tested that quite a while ago. That, by the way, is my number one video on the channel uh, from, I think, September of 2017. I'll put a link to that in the video. Mm-hmm. So I think graham cracker crumbs with a bit of strawberry jam on top and um, delicate wafts of smoke coming through um, the longer you hold on to it in your mouth and also after you swallow. All right, very nice. Now uh, let's compare, first of all, the basic, the basic Kirkland Signature. Now, similar nose profile, but I get a little bit more of that graham cracker crumb uh, on the nose, and no discernible peat on the nose at all. Or if so, it's just very, very light. Now, let me just take a sip of water to clear the palate. All right, cheers again. Not as much of that raisin flavor on the palate. A little bit more honey, a little bit more of the graham cracker crumbs. A bit of wood smoke, but really no peat here. There is, however, a bit of light sulfur. Um, so heavier, heavier whiskeys have been added to, to make this much more potent at 40%. The finish is short to medium. Um, it is quite delicious 
especially for the price. When you think about the price of this, in fact, in Korea, this is pretty near the lowest possible price you can get for a Scotch whiskey. Um, it's a, a challenger to Bell's, uh, which they sell for about 11 or $12 for the 750 So in fact, yeah, I guess that is the cheap, the very cheapest you can possibly get is this one in Korea. Okay, back to that 12 just for comparison. Yeah, you really get much more smokiness and that bit of peat in there. Hmm. The more I keep that in my mouth, again, I'm getting more and more peat, more smoke, but also some pepper, some nice peppers coming through in the palate here as well. Kind of reminds me of Talisker in a sense, in terms of that pepperiness. It's very nice. Now, in my opinion, these are both very, very good whiskeys. Uh, when you factor in price, they border on excellent. Okay, now let's check out the market leader, Johnny Walker Black Label, the 12 year. Let's see how that compares on the nose. Now this is much more old school. I'm getting hay. So a grassy note. The peat's also there, but it's very subtle here. It's a little bit more pronounced in the, uh, the Kirkland 12. And I'm not really getting as much um, raisin. I'm getting a bit of sweetness, but it's more like, um, more like a light apple sweetness. And then that hay component, the light peat. I would say that to an established Scotch whiskey drinker, the Johnny Walker 12-year-old will uh, give a lot of complexity. However, to the new Scotch whiskey drinker, especially if you are an American, used to uh, American whiskeys like bourbon, I think you'll appreciate the subtle sweetness uh, and that raisin uh, cinnamon type of flavors that you get in the, uh, the Kirkland Signature 12-year. All right, a taste here. Cheers. Slanja. It's very smooth, very well balanced. You do get a touch of something sherried on the palate, but it's very subtle. Sherried whiskey, by the way, is what gives whiskey that kind of raisin uh, type of a flavor or red fruit. And I really like the apple notes I'm getting here in this Johnny Walker 12. The peat is, again, a little bit less pronounced. The finish is equally long uh, as that Kirkland 12. In fact, it might be slightly longer, but it's really hard to tell all side by side here like this. Don't forget, when you are tasting whiskeys at home, be sure to have a lot of water on hand. I'll probably go through at least two or three glasses of this size if I were to consume uh, that much alcohol in uh, one evening. Uh, that by the way is quite a bit. If that's a, an ounce and a half, then I've got actually three, four and a half ounces. That's quite a bit of whiskey and uh, I probably wouldn't consume that much on a regular night. Maybe at most about two such glasses. Okay, let's go back to that Kirkland 12 again. Oh yeah, same raisin, cinnamon, same smoky raisin, cinnamon type of a nose. Very nice. Okay, back to the palate. Cheers again.
Yes, raisins, some caramel, those graham crackers, that hint of peat there. This is a very nice whiskey, especially when you factor in the price, as I said. Okay, we'll add a touch of water to each of these. Not too much. I'm adding about one milliliter of water. And what does this do? Well, it certainly lowers the ABV, the alcohol by volume. And as such, your nose might be able to pick up some sense that it wasn't able to uh, full ABV. There can also be some flavors that are kind of unlocked with water added. All right, let's check out the Kirkland 12 year now with water. On the nose, the smoke has disappeared as it often does when you add water to whiskey. Scotch whiskey, I should say. It's become very, very, very subtle. In fact, I almost can't smell much of anything. There it is. Now, a little bit of a little bit of something grassy is coming through now with water added. But it's still predominantly raisin, a bit of cinnamon, not much else there. I don't really like this with water added on the nose. Let's see if the palate's different. Cheers. Hmm. Well, it becomes much more pronounced in terms of sweetness. The smoke has diminished. Not only that, that uh, kind of sulfur content has also diminished somewhat. And the finish is pretty much the same. Medium length, bit of pepper. Well, that's a much more aggressive scotch whiskey than the basic Kirkland signature. These, by the way, I think I forgot to mention, are made by Alexander Murray and Co. Um, that is, uh, what is his name now? Stephen Litt, I think is his name. He's a Scot living in USA. However, his company, Alexander Murray and Co., uh, its, its home is in Scotland, obviously, even though the company is based in USA. All right, the basic Kirkland signature. It's very light, it's very mild, it's very highland, kind of grassy, honey sweetness. Hmm. This reminds me quite a lot of Glenrothes. I have a feeling that there's quite a bit of Glenrothes in here. Hmm, very nice, that's that kind of hay, grassy, honey sweet kind of a flavor that you get uh, in certain whiskies like for example Cuddy Sark and I believe that's coming from that Glenrothes. This may be a little bit of Glenrothes in there. All right now how about the Johnny Walker 12 with water added? Oh much more hay coming through here now. Mm hmm Again, a much more traditional style of Scotch whiskey. All right, well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Kirkland Signature 12-Year Blended Scotch Whiskey. What's that going to be? Well, folks, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Kirkland Signature 12-Year Blended Scotch Whiskey is going to be 83 out of 100. Yes, you heard right, 83 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Kirkland Signature 12-year blended scotch whiskey. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> well, hopefully that gives you a good comparison. So again, you're talking $35 USA for this big, big, uh, huge bottle. Meanwhile, a similar sized uh, Johnny Walker 12-year is about 55. And uh, the basic Kirkland Signature 80 proof uh, no age stated. This one runs for about $20 USA. So then the question is, is it worth it? 
Well, I think that uh, for a lot of, uh, let's call that um, uh, beginner scotch drinkers, especially if you're American, I think this one is very well suited to a palate that's used to, say, uh, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, and the like. It's got some nice sweetness, and however, it also has quite a bit of peat, in fact, a little bit more than the Johnny Walker uh, 12 year, uh, which gives you a nice introduction to a blended scotch whiskey. Now, what about comparing these two? Boy, that's a toss up. You know, you do save quite a bit of money when you get that, uh, that basic Kirkland signature. However, with the, the 12 year, so spending about 35, 30, no, 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 spending $15 more, are you getting more whiskey? Well, you are getting much more peat. You're also getting much more of a, a sherried style of blended scotch whiskey. So I think that uh, it, it could be a very nice upgrade from that basic dram of uh, Kirkland Signature uh, blended scotch whiskey, the no age stated one. Now, uh, to me, if I were in USA, which of course I'm not, I'm here in Seoul, South Korea, and I'm from Canada where I can't get these, I would definitely have these on hand for parties and for mixing and uh, for what I'll call stretching your single malt whiskey dollar. So you know, it's expensive to have uh, 12 year, 15, 18 year, 21 year single malt scotches all the time. Um, so mixing it up with a little bit of uh, blended whiskey, having a glass of this. And with this one, I would love to put some uh, some Glenrothes into that and see how it does because I'm pretty sure that I'm smelling Glenrothes here. Oh yeah, and if you like Cuddy Sark, that's a definite buy for you. This one, this reminds me of almost like a mix of Grant's, which is very sherried, and uh, the Johnny Walker uh, in terms of smoke, but even a little bit more smoke, so maybe more like Teacher's. So Teacher's, uh, quite smoky. I wonder how those compare in terms of smoke content, peat content. That would be interesting, an interesting test for another day. All right, well, thanks for watching. So again, that's 83 out of 100 for Kirkland Signature, the 12 year. And I think it's a definite buy, a good value, and a great whiskey for parties and for stretching that single malt whiskey dollar. Anyway, stay tuned for more. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Click that link right over here. Doop, click that link right there. And also, folks, don't forget about Patreon. Influence me. Get on Patreon. Become a patron. You'll get the Whiskey Whistle Whistler, a newsletter that I put out every month. And also, you'll get advanced ad-free viewing of the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey content, which I call the Patreon Patron Priority Pass. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for more. There's lots to come. Take care now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.